Hello viewers, here we have a 2500 set telephone. This is a modern one. I got this off Amazon recently. And the reason I, I got this, partially for curiosity because I didn't realize these were still made, and partially because the older 2500 sets, you know, with the bell ringers and whatnot, don't handle too well on the OBI box. And so I wanted to get one of these in hopes that it would handle better and not cause unreliability on the line. Um, so this is supposedly made by ITT, um, paid about $24 I think on Amazon for this, which honestly is kind of pricey for a plastic mold full of obsolete technology. So I'm hoping it's well made. Does it actually have a bell ringer? That's awesome if it does. I think it actually has a real bell ringer. Well, this may not do or rather, it may not fulfill the purpose I wanted it for. But if this actually has a bell ringer, you can bet I'm going to go on there and order a few more. Because that would be really cool. So, inside the box we have a, a cord of a reasonable length. Looks to be a 12 foot cord line cord of far more length than you normally have. This is probably uh, at least 12 feet, if not 15. Wow, this is actually heavy. You know what? If this thing works and has a good sound, this is well worth 25 bucks. This is actually made nicely. It's not quite as heavy as the old ones. But it's uh, even got the screw off receivers. That's not bad. Volume control, three positions. I like this so far. Yep, that's got an old bell ringer in there. So this appears to have the name uh, Cortelco. I may grab one of those too because I saw those on Amazon as well for a little bit more reasonable price. They're about $20. Um, wow, this is uh, certainly interesting. Okay. So it looks like it actually has a pass-through on here, which when uh, you plug in the amount of phones that I plug in, that's uh, truly invaluable. Unfortunately it is made in China, which is very disappointing, but the day code reveals it was made, uh, well, I'm, I don't know, maybe I don't know how to read that, 0917 is in the future, I believe, yeah, that's uh, in the future, so. Not sure when it was made, actually. 1.4 uh, Ren is certainly not going to handle on my OBI line, but um, let's plug it in and try it out. It's actually pretty heavy. I can take the handset and pull it quite a ways away from the base and it's not going to uh, to flat the table and I gotta get that coal okay so anyways um, seems like I, mean, I can't go much further than this in this room oh boy I'm I mean you're really not going to extend it much more than that in normal use so um, the fact that it doesn't go flying off the table is quite nice yeah, those are pretty pretty nice feet on there. It's not super heavy, but it, it definitely has some weight to it. Definitely more weight to it than a typical phone of today. So, um, 
All right, let's see. How are we gonna do this? I'll grab. Um, I'll grab this line. This is the right one. I'll plug this in here, and I'll turn the ring off on this other telephone. Hi, there's actually two bells in there. Okay, I'm gonna switch this over to speakerphone. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, One, two three, four, five, four, five six. The telephone does appear to work, and it has a good sound quality. Test, test, test. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. That's volume low. This is volume medium, and this is volume loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check, check. Hello, hello. Okay, so um, has great sound quality as I would have hoped for. The um, the ring isn't super loud. I mean, you can hear it for sure, and it's definitely a real mechanical bell ringtone. But it's not um, quite as loud as the old ones used to be. So I'm gonna um, plug this into the OBI box here and see how it does. See if we can hear any notable difference in the um, in the ring oh, it's not connected, I gotta go over here huh? Did I plug this in wrong? Or is it this long? Well, see this is the problem that we have with the uh, This is the problem we have with bell ringers on the OBI box. Huh. All right, um, let's take this in the other room here, and I'll try to plug it in without all the other um, telephones on the line. Okay, so now it's plugged directly into the OBI box with no other telephones, and I suspect it'll work fine um, in this situation. Huh, it's not. Hello? Yeah, it's, uh, huh, that's interesting. So it doesn't take the, uh, the brain. Uh, well, I may be able to get this to work. I'll have to go on the OBI box and play with the frequency of the ring and see if I can get it to work. Um, but it does work on my regular landline telephone. So it's not a function of the telephone being defective, it's just the function of the OBI box it doesn't cooperate when it comes to bell ringtones, which is kind of frustrating.
Okay, so I've got it plugged into the regular landline telephone again. And I'll ring it up one more time and I'll try to show the two different ring sounds again. Oh, I can't dial today. Okay, here we go. It should be ringing any minute now. Sounds a lot faster than the old telephones. Alright, so there you have it. That is the modern ITT or Cortello, Cort, ugh, Cortelco, excuse me, Cortelco 2500 telephone. A lot better than I was expecting it to be, actually. I did not expect the real bell ringer, and I wasn't expecting a fairly substantially weighted, um, you know, phone. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a, a pretty good quality phone. Of course, only time will tell how long it'll last, but... For the moment, this seems like a really nice telephone, and it's still reasonably well made. So, it's not going to work for the OBI box at the moment, which is what I wanted it for, but... Oh, I had to turn that other telephone off. But, it, um, it, it's pretty cool, so I, I thought it was uh, too expensive, but for 25 bucks to get an actual bell ringer and a phone that feels like the old ones do, I see it's well worth it. I'm probably going to look into the uh, the wall mount model too, the uh, 2554, and see if that one is uh, is just as good. So uh, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.